Hi, this is Splish, and today I'm going back playing a free-to-play multiplayer shooter called Crows to check out if it's a fun game to play and if it has a player base and what content you'll find in the game. Now, Crows is a game that I've played before. As a matter of fact, I did a first impression video of the game in March this year, but since then I haven't played it much at all due to other titles. This game had a promising looking trailer when it came out. I remember putting it into the genre of a kind of a battlefield looking game with vehicles and larger maps, but also with the scent of being also a tactical shooter. However, it didn't really turn out to be exactly what it looked like in the trailer, since I have a feeling of a more casual experience with a more COD-like pacing from time to time when playing, even though the game mostly takes place on pretty large maps. That's also where I believe there's a problem, since it doesn't seem as if the game has really found its identity, especially considering that there hasn't been that much content added into the game at a first glimpse at least when joining Crows about half a year since I played it the last time. It's still this conquest-like game mode that is the thing, and I do wish that they would have added more game modes into Kraus by now, which I believe would have been good for the game overall. Especially now, after games such as World War 3 went public. I mean, World War 3 is also free to play, and is a strong competitor. Although that game has struggled quite some when it comes to a lot of issues. But even so, World War 3 has overall more to offer when it comes to player value, and it's also overall there for a strong competitor and a game that many players will choose over Kraus. And now Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0 is also out there which attracts a lot of FPS gamers at the moment. So where's Crows in all this? Well the biggest turnoff for me if I'm gonna be straight honest here is the performance in the game. It feels like bad optimization alongside with not so great hit registration or in latency which makes the actual gunplay kind of a hassle from time to time. I was struggling to get some kind of decent frames or FPS when playing Crows again. And on some maps I got quite a drop in frames in certain places, and also when I was scoping in sometimes with my sniper. I was really hoping that this would have become better over time since they seem to have quite a few server options when I'm taking a look in the menu. Let me know your experience here as well. One thing that Crows has that is a bit special although not unique is the possibility to change between first person and third person mode in the game. This can both be a nice variation since the game plays quite different between the two. But it's also something that causes problems to a certain degree since it's easier to see and spot people around corners for example when you're playing in third person mode compared to first person. This tilts the balance a bit in the game but I believe it maybe affects the identity more than anything else. Meaning, is it a third person shooter or, or first person shooter foremost? Maybe, and maybe, just maybe, they would have been better off to keep it in third person mode only, since there aren't many Battlefield like games out there in third person mode. That's just a thought. So, what about the community, meaning players? Well, I could see a mix of nationalities when I was playing, and yes, I was foremost playing as a sniper as usual. When I look into the Steam charts, it doesn't look that great, going from around 700 players per day around April down to around 70 players on average the last month. This is most likely to do with both releases of other games, of course, that people choose to play over Crows, but also from my experience coming back to the game, poor optimization and partly lack of content as well. Again, I'm always eager to hear from people that have been playing Crows for some time what they think here. So does that mean that Crows is a bad game per se? No, I don't think so, but it's not that good either. I saw potential here when trying out this game about half a year ago, but unfortunately it seems as if they haven't been able to strengthen their position with the game and move on further with the progressive roadmap. Crows puts itself in the middle out there among many other shooters but doesn't really stand out enough to make me choose Crows over World War 3 as mentioned or Modern Warfare 2 for that sake. But I do hope that the people that are playing Kraus gets a game that will become more polished and also get more content in the game along the way. With that said, thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you want to watch more similar FPS gaming videos in the future here on my channel then yeah as said subscribe. Have a nice day now and game on. Later. Alert! Machine at point G is under attack!
mining machine at point H. 